Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So today we're just taking a simple look at Keyshot 9.3. Now Keyshot 9 actually came with a whole lot of cool features and within Keyshot 9 all the way to 9.1, 9.2, and present 9.3 there has been a lot of updates and cool stuff that has come with this version of keyshot so we have already talked about keyshot 9 and a whole lot of things that it did come with but then over a period of time we seem to not have talked about the couple of updates that they have made for this particular version and today we're going to go through a rundown of things that has been happening with the whole keyshot tool from keyshot 9.1 keyshot 9.2 over to Keyshot 9.3 and the 9.3 version actually comes with more of improvements and there has been a huge set of improvement bug fixes with a couple of features that most persons have requested over time now one of the very big ones for me has to do with the GPU and I'm very excited about the GPU improvement that is now available in Keyshot and one of the very cool things that I've really really loved to see which has made its way to this new release is the fact that there is a lot of improvements with things that has to do with the multi optics and just in case you guys have no idea what the multi optics is multi optics is a new set of material that you can now get directly here in Keyshot and you can simply layer up a whole lot of stuff directly here and depending on what you want you can choose to play with the dielectric material to get some very interesting looking results so this has greatly been improved and I'm very very you know happy about this so the GP which I'm using to run Keyshot is the Nvidia RTX 5000 and previously I regularly have a couple of issues but now it seems that they've gone ahead to fix these things and one of the main things that is very interesting to see is right now you can now use the gpu in a much more stable mode i love the idea of them you know fixing this particular issue right now now there's also improvements with python scripting for those who would like to write python and for the visual fidelity there is now a huge similarity between what you can see in specular reflections that we have right now for both gpu and also for cpu great enhancement has also been done in areas of network rendering and also if you're looking forward to improving and how you can work with your scene hierarchy they've also gone ahead to actually make this one cool so a whole lot of things have actually been improved in terms of functionality performance and stuff and if we go down you know down the lane just a little bit not less than three weeks ago keyshot 9.2 was released and it also came with a whole bunch of improvements and for the features the nv link for multi gpu memory you know management has also been added and this is just in saying as you can now pair up a couple of you know cards and get your rendering running perfectly fine the quality slider for the jpeg option is now available right now and there is also an import feature that has to do with you bringing in an entire folder directly here of course we also talked about keyshot 9.1 where we talked about the uv2 being extremely useful right now and at the same time the network rendering has now been fully optimized in this present version now when we talk about things that you can do there was a time where i you know i went through and talked about keyshot not having gpu support and we did you know make a whole lot of uh, comparison about that but today there is just interesting interesting you know features and stuff that you can literally do with the key shots and one of the very lovely ones has to do with the entire gpu improvement i think that they've actually cranked up the idea of making the gpu improvement or the gpu rendering extremely clean and fast because as it is you can literally load up a simple scene and it doesn't matter how complex this is you can leverage the power of your own gtx card or your rtx card and simply get some very cool rendering happening here now when it also has to do with the geometrical nodes that you can work with and things that you can make changes to this is also something very very cool and you can see that the gpu does not only support just the fast rendering but it supports most of the things that you can literally get from cpu rendering so things that has to do with depth of field reflections which you've just you know confirmed that specular reflections are doing perfectly fine right now you can see with a very simple scene like this we can go around this so i'm just going to go ahead and zoom all the way out and you know double click right here go all the way to where we have our material graph and from here you could notice that we can easily simply double click on one of these materials or you know double click on something and once we start making those adjustments directly here we are getting that 
on the viewports of course this has also been there but the idea that you can now do these things easily with your gpu and you know there is little or no discrepancies in terms of what you can do with cpu right now and what you can do with gpu right now in keyshot just simply makes a lot of sense and i'm very excited about keyshot 9.3 being available for anyone who is willing to get into keyshot product rendering or you know rendering as a whole for both uh your characters and all that stuff and the gpu functionality that it comes with just simply makes this an easy breeze that you can literally have fun working with and of course if you want to get a copy of keyshot you can go over to the link in the description that will take you over to luxon's website where you can download keyshot and get keyshot for 30 days that you can use and you can also choose to get the non-commercial version which is the one we're using right now just to test out the features before you can go through and make a purchase and yes that's going to be about it if you have questions about any of these things that we've talked about or maybe have questions about keyshot please put them in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with the tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace